Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to set the theme of your Qt widget application. So let's get started. So you might have an application that has a bunch of forms and if you're running it on Windows you get this look and feel, right? And if you're running this in Mac then you get the Mac look and feel and so on. But perhaps you want to change that. You want to change the background, you want to change the font, the size of the buttons and all these things. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here I have a sample form. It doesn't do anything. I just filled it up with different UI elements so that you can see the transformation from this basic uh, look to the one we're going to set, all right? So this application does nothing. And you know, here I have, it's a, it's a Visual Studio. I'm running it on Visual Studio and here's just the files. I just have the main CPP and then the, the form that we're running, which I just call a cute theme as that's what this video is related. So what I want you to do is, uh, I'm going to show you later how we modify some of these things, but what I want you to do is I want you to check out this website called qss-stock.devsecstudio.com and I'll leave the link in the description. And this uh, website, I found it a while back, they have a bunch of style sheets that are free for you to modify the background and the UI of all your entire uh, widgets. So here, if you click on that button that I just clicked and you scroll down, you can see all the different themes. And all these themes are free, so long as you're using them for non-commercial purposes. And so here, you know, depending on the type of application that you're writing, you can pick a theme that you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this second one, right? And you just click on it. I hit download. This will give you a RAR file. And I'm already here. I'm going to put it where my code is. I'm going to save it. And then here, here I have, so I, I got this theme called Adaptic. So I'm just going to extract everything here. And you get a couple files. You get the this file called Adaptic.qss. This is the thing that we want. We don't care about the PNG. That's just the photo that they have there. We don't care about the RAR file no more. And this is the license. So if you want to read the license about using this theme, then there it is. So I'm going to delete it as well. And then I'm going to go back to my code, to Visual Studio, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this QSS file just so you can take a look at it. And so if I scroll down, so here's part of the license, is the MIT license. So if you scroll down, this if you've ever programmed in CSS, this looks a lot like CSS. That's why this is called QSS, right? It's very similar. So in here, you know, if you want to get all the Q widgets and you can set their background color, this is the background color. It's a gradient. You can set the border color of all the widgets. This is the color. And, you know, it's it's a very large, I mean, a couple hundreds lines of uh, styles and uh, rules for the different uh, UI elements. And you can come here and adjust any of them to your liking. But first, first, let's learn how we load all these styles into your application. This is actually quite simple. So what we're going to do is, wherever you have the creation of your Q application, which is typically on the main CPP, unless you put it somewhere else, what we're going to do is we're going to include, include Q file. And then right after the app, I'm just going to say, you know, set the app style sheet. And then in here, we want to open this QSS file that we have downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Q, Q file style sheet file. And this is going to be, it's in the current directory, and it's going to call adaptic.qss, right? You can put the file somewhere else if you want, but I'm just doing it here on the same directory. And then I want to open it. So that open, and it's going to be with read all. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm skipping ahead. This is this is read only. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, fellas. It's getting late. All right, so we get qstream. We want to read the contents of this file. So it's going to be style sheet. This is our style sheet. And it's going to be, I'm going to turn it into a Q Latin one string. And I'm going to read everything on the style sheet. Uh, yeah, file that read all. all. Right, I was going ahead. And then in your application, on your Q application, what we want is we're going to put the style sheet here by calling the set style sheet function. Style sheet. And that's it. We're done. Once I run this, we you will see that the previous uh, widget application that I had now looks like this, right? We modify how sliders look. We modify how just the horizontal line looks, the radio buttons, the check boxes, the buttons, everything is modified. The background has that gradient that we looked at at the rule. And that's it, right? 
So it's very simple. Now, of course, you can go here to the Adaptic QSS and you can modify these things. Now, what I like about doing this style sheet that we just did here, the way I like to do it like this because alternatively, you can go to the form file and then you can set the style sheet of every single element. That's fine if you want to just specifically change one element when you're creating the form. But if you want to set an overall theme, I feel like this is the best way to do it. And the reason also why I think it's so good is because you can do changes, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this. And I can come here and let's just look for a Q push button. Q push button. And then here it says what? Background color is this gradient. So I'm going to grab everything and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to put white just so you can see. Just so you can see what happens. And so now the background color of all my buttons are now white. Every single button. And what I like about this is that you change the theme. But this is not part of your code. So you do not have to re recompile. So I can just go to debug, start debugging. I don't, I don't have to recompile. I'll just run it. And now look, the, the, the UI, this, the, the theme of my buttons have changed from being this red gradient to now this white background, right? So by simply just changing this file, you're able to modify everything. In fact, you could have already a compiled version, change the theme, and it'll change the, uh, the overall application. So this is, I think this is pretty neat. So I always suggest that if you're going to set style sheets to do it as a file like this, rather than programmatically set the style sheet of every single UI element. Now, you might be wondering, well, Daniel, like, you know, this is a lot of code, right? You Maybe you don't like any of the style sheets that you see here. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't, but perhaps you want to create your own thing, right? Maybe it's for commercial purposes and you want to do something. So what you can do is you can go to, the, you can grab one of these and use it as a reference to learn how to set, how do the QSS uh, themes work. But you can go to the Qt style sheets reference page. And in here, you can, it'll tell you how to change all the UI properties. And again, it all looks like it's very similar to CSS. So if you know CSS, then this is probably going to be much easier for you. If you do not know CSS, well, by modifying these things, you probably will learn a little bit of CSS, right? So here you go, list of properties, all right? So if you want to change the background, you know, of a cute text edit, well, here you go, cute text edit, set the background to yellow. And so there's all these things. Of course, I mean, I, we could go over some of this, but this would just make the video too long. I mean, there's just so many. You could spend tons of videos just trying to make very nice UIs and things like that. But what I want you to get out of this video is that it's very simple to change the theme of all your widgets. Right now, if you had 20 widgets in this application, all of them will get this look and feel. And this will apply for both Mac, Linux, uh, Windows, whatever you run your application, this will work and change the, the style sheet of them as well. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you like this video, you got something out of it, you found it useful and you don't mind, leave a like. If you're new to this channel, check out the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe, be safe and peace out.